All right, action. All right. This is my earthquake E43 auger. And I did video putting it together because it's simply putting a screw in here, putting the auger bit on, and the fishtail on the end of the auger, on the end of the bit. So this is going to be the first start. I'm going to turn it on, put the choke on, hit the bulb, just see some fuel. That should start within three poles. Okay. let it run for about 30 seconds to get the oil and everything going through the piston. It started. I've never used one of these. This is the first time. Alright, you ready? Yes. Man, this nasty ass clay! Hard old Kalichi. Yeah. So there's the first post. That's the middle post. Everything else is going off of that. I'm only putting up four panels. I'm going to be using wood, making a wood frame. And they're going to be at an angle like two thirds of the way between winter and summer. Uh, so I can catch most of the sun. But you can see where the shadow is. This is late afternoon. And uh, I think, and as the days start getting shorter later, yeah, it's 3:30. That's going to be a good angle, I think. I'm not getting out shit to try to figure it out. <laughs> it's going to look good there. Nick is going to try his hand at this. These are uh, the auger was good. It took us about what five minutes, something like that, four or five yeah, minutes. Yeah. yeah, but we're digging through wet clay and roots so it's a little tougher than we expected but it beats the hell out of the post hole diggers yeah, it does so have at it buddy
<laughs> We're still learning this. They, neither one of us ever used one of these before. The second hole went a lot better. All right. That's how you dig a hole. Yeah. That went a lot better. Pick it up and kind of like push it down. That'll work. All right. Does do some vibrating though, don't it? Oh, yeah. But still. Oh, people that do jackhammers for 20 years. Holy that cow. Where they develop tremors. What a difference. Whew. All right. Must not have hit any roots on that one. No, that one felt a whole lot cleaner. Yeah. Gail's mowing. I don't know where she is. She's trying to tear up the blade somewhere. But now we'll set our second post. Then after we get the three posts set, we're going to build the frames. Uh, at home last night, I pre-cut everything. Brought it out here, we'll build it all. And then next weekend, I'll bring the panels out and secure them to the frame. But this is how we're doing our DIY solar array frame. All right, so we have our second post set. And... I'm not putting these in concrete. They're not going to have to be. Because it's not that critical. And they're subject to being moved later. Depending on what we do out here. But we're going down about three feet. At least the auger says three feet. And uh, we're going to do the third one now. Set that post. Then we'll build the frames and put on there. And you'll get a clearer idea of how we're doing this. Maybe we'll get a clearer idea of how we're doing it. <laughs> this is just things I thought of. Bob the Builder. Yeah, there's Bob the Builder. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you should have turned it on. No, I forgot. Oh, it's still on choke? Yeah, I forgot to. You might have to prime it again. Is it on choke? There you go. This old nasty ass clay with roots in it is hard to get through. Woo. Yeah. a little bit deeper on that one. Go deeper? Maybe an inch. Alright. Alright. There's the solar rack. We're pretty good. I'll show you what we did here. Now, 
these four by four posts are in three feet that's cut at about 55 degrees uh, 62 is optimum but I left it down a little bit so that as the sun starts the days get shorter it's still gonna pick up plenty and we're not gonna be out here that much during the winter anytime I'll get plenty of light for the winter um, these are temporary until I get the front post set now I can get a height of what I need on the front post but what's gonna these are temporary but what's gonna happen is my solar panels are 39 by 65 so four solar panels go right there a thousand watts that's the plan <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna put three posts in the front four by four post for the front I'm not gonna sink them I'm just gonna set them in place and uh, you know if we get a little bit of movement so be it that's gonna be perfect I think if we move out here per permanently these are going to be relocated anyway so this may be a temporary thing but for the weekends or just being out here a few days this is going to be perfect and plenty of power a thousand watts is all I'm going to need uh, I'm hoping Tuesday Nick and I can come out here and screw all the solar panels into place I get that part done then I can start running the wire into the cabin and get the batteries but yeah that's what we did today along with uh, Gale mode we needed you know because <laughs> it never ends and we cooked out we had a fire going it was really nice it was a great day out here beautiful weather nice and cool a day we needed but now we're packing up uh, it's probably quarter till seven or so now and uh, we're packing up heading out of here I'm gonna take down some of my neighbors bushes I know he doesn't care but about six o'clock uh, shadows started creeping in from these bushes here so he'll let me cut down a bunch of that stuff and uh, optimize my son but that's really cool I you know sat at home drew that all out had everything pre-cut before we got here to where all I had to do was build it uh, didn't have to make any adjustments and all worked out exactly how I hoped it would but there's your do-it-yourself two by four solar array this is Joe and Gail and Nick helping me out here at the cabin at St. Bernard Acres, we're out. <laughs>